Okay, so I went and seen a movie. Today is six dollar Tuesday, so I don't spend a lot of money on Tuesdays. Um regular matinees are nine dollars, so I gotta go to the matinees when I go to the movies, right? Now, I usually will do uh something fast foodies real quick under um that's say nine dollars, right? To to as I'm coming home to lay that. Right. So even though I sit in the movie theater, my pain level doesn't change. Sometimes it gets worse <laughs> as the day goes on. I keep telling you that too, retard. At the person who's supposed to be a doctor of <laughs> I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are. But here's the point. I am responding to an injury that happened in 1994 since that accident occurred in the military, right? Now, yes, I was in the car wreck at 16, but no pain at all, right? For eight years, right? And the pain here is associated with a three-story fall versus a car wreck in 1986, right? <laughs> now, the movie I saw was called Missing was Nia Long, a new actress who I don't even know her name, right? And, um, mm -hmm. it involves a possible kidnapping of a young girl's mother when she goes on vacation with her new boyfriend, right? To, but they go to south of the border, right? <laughs> and it turns into some kind of weird uh, situation for the mother and the daughter, who suddenly is a single mom, right? <laughs> so something's going on, right? The girls had a father in the picture in the beginning, right? But it deals with more issues, right? Currently, right? Especially with ladies, right? If you go see it, right? <laughs> so it started at one twenty, and it was out within two hours later, right? Mm -hmm. And so, of course, I sat in the theater the whole time, watched the movie, right? Um, it involves internet dating. It involves right, current things going on. So, of course, some things are coincidental for all our lives, right? That's the problem, Hollywood. You forget. You can make the movies, right? But we can, too, right? <laughs> You can't steal our freedom of speech for our own life. <laughs> Even if it mocks yours, right? <laughs> if Hugh Jackman can't heal like the Wolverine, but I survived the car wreck in a three-story fall, and I'm out in the hospital for two days with the car wreck, and then three months later with the three-story fall, and I'm hurting in the back and ankle, right? And they're telling me I should be paralyzed. Don't you think, right? You can claim, if you're walking on the injury, that you were healed similarly to the fictional character of the Wolverine in that situation? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unlike Mr. Jackman, of course, who's an actor playing a role of a comic book character, which I've heard of when I was a teenager myself in the 80s, right? And 70s, right, of course, when it first came out, in a comic book called X-Men, right? And some of the things we were taught to possibly get into is comic books or right, as an alternative means of entertainment, right? Also, Transformers, also Autobots, also Decepticons, also, right, Hasbro Toys, also, right, <laughs> video games, Atari, right, and videos for music, right? Video killed the radio star. <laughs> right. Remember that one? <laughs> MTV? <laughs> Forget the words of that part, but some dude do, right? <laughs> now the impersonation is good. <laughs> the impersonation is good. <laughs> no, I don't remember that one for the song. <laughs> Are you doing the impersonation? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you Hollywood types are doing, but we think it's weird. 
Okay, we gotta go to you. Where is he? When a lot of people on YouTube are trying to get to you and can't because of your little red flags yourself, right? See, that's the problem, too. We got red flags. We gotta be aware of because some of you have thought of this game as a $3 bill, and not all of us want to be gay with you, right? right? And we're told we don't have a choice if we go to Hollywood or something, right? We don't know, right? No, really, really. Now, some of us are really disabled and just want to get a gig or something, right? Not long term, but they don't even know how to be an extra in the movie, even those that come around for that area. <laughs> Which we got some of those, even Molly Cyrus shot a movie with her then Bo Lynn, you know, <laughs> Hemsworth, <laughs> who was in a few movies himself, right? Now, like I said, while they're shooting, I say in my apartment. <laughs> If I go to the beach, it was for a regular beach visit. I didn't even, you know, go around where they might would even be filming. Right, right. And all I would do again was what, right? You know, put my beach towel on, go get something to eat from the store, or go walking down the beach like I normally do. And ignore the production and its little things, right? For one, I don't even know they're really there, right? <laughs> I err on the side of caution rather than doing something dumb. <laughs> now, that don't mean you can't do nothing dumb with me either, 15-year-old girls. <laughs> That's the problem, Ted. <laughs> Some children are charged as an adult. Why? <laughs> They're trying to grow up too fast. They're trying to grow up too fast. One child even shot his parents for taking away their video games or something like that. Not to feel the commercials, right? You're going crazy, people. Right. <laughs> you're not caring and you're harmful to others. <laughs> that could be a problem. Understand? Bye.